Hello everyone, this is a short, short video. I want to pick your brain, please. In the replies below, in the comments, let me know at least one, at the most three of your favorite pigments. And please refer to them with the pigment number. It has to be a single pigment. So no, I don't want any names from brands that compose their colors with multiple pigments. It has to be a single pigment. So you can also say the name of the color because like if you mention PBR7, that pigment they use to make a lot of colors from. So sometimes you need to clarify on the color you love. But please, please mention the pigment number. There are a lot of colors I really love. One of my favorites, for instance, is PY 150. So PY, pigment yellow, number 150, and it's a nickel azo color. It's a bright and vibrant, transparent yellow that sometimes tends a little towards the brown end, sometimes towards the green end, sometimes it's got some orange in it, um, but it's a very vibrant colour. So that would certainly be in my top three. Another colour would be Peachy 50, which is cobalt teal. Um, it can also be a PB... Hmm, what is it again? Do you know? There is um, a PB and a number alternative that really boils down to it's also a chromium colour and that's those are the same and behave the same, are about the same. Chemically probably not entirely the same, but they look the same and they behave the same. So that would be in there. And then what I also love is quinacridone magenta, so the quinacridones that are really vibrant and transparent and gorgeous. And well, there are more, but please Give me your three, the top three of your favorite pigments. And I'm going to use that. How? I'm working on a plan. And when the plan comes together, not if, but when, and it will, you'll be invited. There will be a project that you can embark on if you like. And I would love to hear from you which pigments make your heart tick. And as a bonus, you can also mention one pigment that you don't already know, but that you're curious about. Okay, so three, maximum three, at least one of your favorite pigments and one pigment you can't wait to try one day. So I'm asking pigment numbers. So this is all about artist quality paints probably. <laughs> and well, what you could do is um, you can write down in brackets behind the pigment numbers, the brands of the paint that you're referring to. If you are looking for pigment numbers, if you have a tube, um, you will find on the tube somewhere the pigment number, or you have to look it up on the internet. But it's, it's, it's pivotal because um, like for instance, indigo, is a color that every brand has in its collection. <laughs> Only the original indigo, they no longer produce that because it's not light fast. So what they did is find replacement and usually sometimes indigo is a composition of a black and a blue pigment. Sometimes it's um, uh, PB60, I think if I remember correctly, which is more like a Delft or Inthrone blue. Um, sometimes they take a Prussian blue, so the names don't really mean that much. And if you checked out my my review on uh, what's it called, um, Jello and um, Ganzai Tambi, those names are completely different from from the classic names. So names don't mean that much anymore. So give me the pigment numbers. I'm really really curious. And I'm looking forward to getting some because um, I need that to complete my project so that I can present it to you hopefully very soon. <laughs> okay, thank you.
in advance for sharing your preferences with me. And I hope to see you again soon, because I have something to share and review again, of course. So, see you then. Bye.